Hello and welcome to Calyx TV, this is Tom Bailey and London. The death toll from yesterday's earthquake in Afghanistan has reached 180 and is, is expected to rise significantly as aid workers reach more remote locations. Among the dead are 12 Afghan girls in the province of Takar who were crushed to death in a stampede of terrified pupils fleeing their school. Another 42 pupils were reportedly injured, several critically. The tremor that measured 7.9 magnitude on the Richter scale, with its shockwaves reaching as far away as the Indian capital New Delhi, uh, unleashed major panic in Pakistan and Afghan, Afghan cities. <clears throat> the earthquake did however take place under a sparsely populated region in, at an estimated depth of 130 miles, potentially limiting the number of casualties. It struck six months after Nepal was devastated by the earth, worst earthquake in its recorded history the latest such disaster to strike South Asia amid intensified seismic activity. The US Navy has sent a guided missile destroyer within 12 nautical miles of artificial islands built by China in the South China Sea in the start of a series of challenges to China's territorial claims in one of the world's busiest sea lanes. Two US officials said the White House approved the movement by the USS Lassen early on Tuesday, which is today, near Subi and Mischief Reefs in the Spratly Archipelago, features that were formerly submerged at high tide before China began a massive dredging project to turn them into islands in 2014. The patrol was completed without incident, but the patrols marked the most serious US challenges to the 12 nautical mile territorial limit China claims around the islands and are certain to anger Beijing. A Saudi prince has been detained at Beirut airport in Lebanon after two tons of an amphetamine drug popular with Syrian rebels were found on a private jet. Prince Abdel Mohsen bin Walid bin Abdulaziz and four other men were held after what was described as the biggest ever drugs bust in the city's main Rafiq Hariri International Airport, according to local security sources. They were allegedly attempting to smuggle two tons of captogen pills and some, some cocaine, according to a security source. Uh, a Yemeni hospital run by the medical aid group Médecins Sans Frontières was hit by a Saudi-led airstrike, according to the group earlier today. This is the latest bombing of a civilian target in a seven-month air campaign in Yemen. Dr. Al Mughali said the air raids resulted in the destruction of entire hospital with all that was inside, devices, med medical supplies, and the moderate wounding of several several people. Sabah said Sabah, the local news source, said that the other airstrikes hit a nearby girls' school and damaged several civilian homes. A former Australian soldier who vanished in Afghanistan in 2001 and was long thought dead is believed to have resurfaced as a senior commander of the Al-Qaeda militants in Syria. Matthew Stewart, a former Australian in infantryman who fought in East Timor, is believed to have fled to Afghanistan in 2001 after telling his parents Vicky and Peter that he was going on holiday. His family had nothing more from him, and they held a private wake for Stuart in 2004, but it now appears that the 39-year-old who grew up on the Sunshine Coast in the state of Queensland is training combats, combatants from Jabhat al-Nazura, the Syrian branch of Al-Qaeda, to fight against Western forces. The uh, revelation emerged after the publication of the latest edition of Al-Qaeda's English-language online, online magazine, which featured an interview with a member of the terrorist group named as Usama Hazme Australi. Authorities in Australia have reportedly long believed that Stuart, who allegedly suffered post-traumatic stress disorder after his six months of service in Eastern Timor in 1999, flew to Afghanistan in 2001 and joined the Taliban and then Al-Qaeda. And now we've got some uh, results in from a number of companies within the insurance industry. A fall in profits generated by the Hartford's property and casualty operations contributed to the core earnings dropping 24% uh, from sorry 24% to 364 million for the U.S. insurer in the third quarter. However, the company offered some positive news for investors that it said its commercial prices were up an average of 2%. Partner Re fell to a net loss of 243 million as its third quarter numbers were impacted by the 315 million termination fee and expenses it paid in relation to its proposed merger with Axis. WR Barclay has reported operating income of 117.6 million for the third quarter, down from 141.6 million for the same period last year. Um, and the recently combined um, XL Catlin 
um, saw operating net income decrease to 70.8 million for quarter three, down from 187 million for the same quarter last year. The New York listed carrier Argo reported a 4.7 rise in third quarter profits to 24.6 million. Um, and uh, Everest Re reported a 29% drop in third quarter operating income to 202, 200.2 million for the same period last year. Um, and finally, Marsh McLennan Companies, the owner of Marsh and Guy Carpenter, posted a 2% underlying increase in its overall insurance revenue to $1.6 billion for quarter three, as both Marsh and Guy Carpenter delivered. Uh, organic growth. That's all from us today. We'll be back at the same time tomorrow. Until then, thank you and goodbye.